Hi everyone, this is Pastor Mark Solger welcoming you to the message of hope this morning. The name is Newness. Call it this because we have just finished the two triads of miracles in the Gospel of Matthew and we are in chapter 9 this morning. Uh, Jesus has just called Matthew to be one of his disciples which is absolutely absurd in those days. And then he does even a stranger thing and invites himself over to dinner. And the disciples timidly come forward. The Pharisees stand outside and they enjoy a meal together. And the criticisms start to come as certain people don't accept the Messiah while others do. So here's a question. I'm in chapter 9, verse 14 through 17. When dinner was over, the John's disciples came to him and asked, how is it that we and the Pharisees fast often, but your disciples do not fast? Jesus answered, How can the guests of a bridegroom mourn while he's still with them? The time will come when the bridegroom will be taken from them. Then they'll fast. No one sews a patch of unshrunk cloth on an old garment, for the patch will pull away from the garment, making the tear worse. Neither do people pour new wine into old wineskins. If they do, the skins will burst, and the wine will run out, and the wineskins will be ruined. No, they pour new wine into new wineskins, and both are preserved. Jesus is bringing newness. He is bringing a new gospel to accept everyone. And some people aren't going to accept that, and it's going to tear or burst. And so he says new wineskins. So Matthew is about to open three miracles describing the newness, the newness of healing, the newness of hope, the newness of health, the newness of a spirituality and a way to talk and be with God that has not been talked about in a long time and he's bringing that and restoring that. Today, as the COVID is still with us, we are faced with the newness of what we're going to do with not only our church but our families and our schools and business. Everything is new. We've got to be prayerful and ask the Lord, what would you like us to do? And be open to exactly what he wants us to do and willing to do that. When he says, follow me, he means now. God bless you this morning. We'll look forward to talking to you about the miracles. This is Pastor Mark saying, God bless you.